The new hypersonic missile's already in Ukraine. Moreover, it's already been successfully launched at neighboring military facilities. But the main success factor was complete secrecy. This covert strike on the Russian army is very different from the previous ones. Unable to counteract this super modern missile, the Russians can only extinguish the fire and clear the rubble. But what is this mysterious strike, and why did it happen now? Let's find out. International tensions peaked after the recent missile attack on civilian infrastructure in Ukraine's capital. Russia cynically claimed to have hit military targets and then traditionally blamed Ukraine for everything. In response to this egregious crime, the UK allowed Ukraine to use its Storm Shadow missiles to strike Russian territory. They've already been used to destroy the Black Sea Fleet headquarters and other facilities. This made it clear that Russia has no countermeasures against these missiles. And the only obstacle to the painful use of these missiles is political decisions. Russia, for its part, is doing everything it can to ensure that such decisions are made without question. During the visit to the NATO summit in Washington, British Prime Minister Keir Starmer announced that he would continue the previous government's policy of using long-range weapons in the Russian-Ukrainian war. He said that Ukraine has the right to decide on its own how to use the Storm Shadow missiles provided by the UK with a range of 310 miles or more, including for strikes on military targets in Russia. Starmer's statement echoes the words of his predecessor, Rishi Sunak, who never explicitly stated that he'd authorized Kyiv to use the Storm Shadow to strike Russia, but made it clear that he had. The Kremlin is warned of a potential response if London allows the Ukrainian defense forces to fire long-range missile weapons at Russian territory, although what exactly can be opposed to the Storm Shadow missile? This is an air-launched cruise missile made by MBDA. It has a speed of about 620 miles per hour and is equipped with a 990-pound warhead. Guidance is provided by an inertial system, GPS, and a thermal homing head. But in reality, it's a weapon of war designed to destroy an enemy's capacity to fight. The only countermeasure to the British super missiles may be the S-400. According to Russian officials, this system is capable of shooting down the Storm Shadow missiles. The S-400 is capable of detecting and destroying cruise missiles thanks to its powerful radar and highly maneuverable interceptor missiles. However, success depends on factors such as timely detection and electronic countermeasures used by the Storm Shadow missile. But how ironic that these air defense systems were targeted by the Storm Shadow. We uh, manipulated such that uh, we were able to change the downward slope on the vertical end of the trajectory. That's right, the state-of-the-art Russian systems that they're so protective of became the first target of a British missile on Russian territory. Discontent is already spreading on Russian social media. However, this is not surprising given the price of $1 billion. How did this become possible? The non-export version of the Storm Shadow, which is used by the UK, has a range of up to 350 miles, which allows it to be launched far from the enemy's strike zone. One of the main advantages of this missile is its low flight profile. It flies at a very low altitude, making it less visible to radar and more difficult to intercept by air defense systems. Into uh, different types of terrains that we haven't been able to in the past. Russia also uses the same tactic, but when faced with it, Russia fully realized its effectiveness. The Storm Shadow is equipped with an inertial navigation system combined with GPS, which allows it to determine its exact location and adjust its course during flight. This ensures high accuracy of hitting the target even in conditions of active electronic jamming. No matter how hard the Russians tried, all means were useless against this powerful missile. Once you've taken the decision to launch it, then um, it might be a significant amount of time before it hits its target. Uh, you might want to change your mind, uh, but uh, with most cruise missiles these days, you, you don't have that option. Also during its development, special materials for the body were chosen to reduce the missile's radar visibility. In fact, the storm shadow dissolves in the air, becoming invisible to radar. Add to this a tricky flight path that's constantly changing, and we have an almost elusive target for air defense systems. It's also important to note the warhead of the missile. It consists of two main components, a penetrating warhead that pierces even the strongest shelters, and a delayed detonator that causes maximum destruction inside the object. 
This means that the missile can hit not only surface targets, but also underground shelters and command posts. All in all, the Storm Shadow is a true technological masterpiece that demonstrates a combination of modern materials, advanced navigation systems, and treacherous flight paths. This makes it possible to bypass even the most advanced air defense systems, ensuring high combat effectiveness. We recognize a need to develop a unitary type of warhead instead of the bombless that could minimize the collateral damage on the targets that we were going after. However, what's important here is not the fact of the hit itself, but the whole range of consequences that follow. In fact, the entire Russian leadership has once again deeply embarrassed itself by frightening the world with its weapons. They once again faced a painful reality that showed them their place. That's why they are in no hurry to publicize this shameful defeat in the air. Secondly, it's worth mentioning the geopolitical component. The authorization of the use of Western weapons on Russia draws the final line between Western and European civilization and Russia, thereby outlining its position in the large-scale conflicts that are looming in the coming years. Thirdly, it can be called preparation for strikes that will be carried out in the future with the F-16 and the destruction of air defense systems fits in with these ideas. The UK's decision may also result in a long-awaited similar authorization from the US, which would allow Ukraine to end the war before the US elections, although this is a topic for a separate video. In addition to all of this, it's worth noting that Russia is actively moving missile-carrying aircraft even deeper into the rear to protect the already few carriers from destruction at border air bases. They have to fire mostly from the Caspian Sea, as there are frequent cases of missiles falling after launch, and this is the closest safe point for hundreds of miles. With the arrival of F-16s, which will be able to intercept these missiles more successfully, there's a possibility that the shelling will decrease, but this is a topic for the next videos. That's all for today. I'm waiting for your likes and comments. I'm very interested in what you think about this. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss our new videos and watch other videos on our channel dedicated to aircraft. See you soon.